It's best to set up your options for Awesome Screenshot before you start using it. In the upper right hand corner, right click on your extension and choose Options. At the top, you will see you have some different shortcut options. You can click on the drop down caret and choose a different letter if you want to. Visible part after delay, this is when you delay to take a screenshot. If you feel like you want more time as your default, you can change this. Same thing to enter entire screen, never, or you can choose your time. Skip annotating. I would leave this to never for now. If you find that you don't annotate your photos, then you can come back and choose, you know, one of the other two options. Countdown timer refers to when you're recording your screen. If you feel like you need more than three seconds, you can change this up here with the arrows. Download screenshot as either a PNG or JPEG file. I like to keep it as PNG just in case I want to do anything transparent. Always get shareable links for screenshots uploaded to your Google Drive. I choose for this option to be on because I like to store my screenshots in my Google Drive. Makes it really easy to just send people the link. I also like to have on the ask where to download just in case it is a screenshot I want to just download straight to my desktop. This is an option to add your date and URL. That's a personal preference. This here, set pop-up menus default tab to either capture or record. If you take screenshots more often, I would choose the capture option. That way when you left click on your awesome screenshot extension, capture is the tab that is automatically always popped up. Otherwise, if you have it on record as the default, you have to always switch it back to capture. So it just depends upon what you use the extension for most often. Turn on dark mode. If you turn this on, all that does is when you left click on your extension, it's now in a darker color. So I'm going to turn that back off. Then you can look through these different options here to resize your screen, play video on the page. This is if you use these different um, platforms. If you don't, you can uncheck them and maybe you just want to leave Gmail open or maybe you want to turn this option completely off. You can come back in and change these options and settings at any time. Once you're done with that, you can just close this window and you're ready to start taking your screenshots.